That makes me very happy. That's, that's why I wanted to make one more movie. Archimedes is fascinated by replacement. Indiana Jones is back in the thick of it for one last hurrah. In Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, our hero once again finds himself on a dangerous adventure, this time to retrieve a legendary historical artifact. More than 40 years after the first Indiana Jones adventure, star Harrison Ford is excited for fans to see what they've created. Most of all, I'm anxious uh, to please these people that are standing behind us. You count, she counts, everybody counts. But those are the people we're making the movie for. Having already seen it, I told Ford I felt real satisfaction in the way this 40 plus year journey ends. That makes me very happy. That's, that's why I wanted to make one more movie. They did such a beautiful, beautiful job with this story, and um, I hope they just enjoy the ride. It's a, it's a wild ride. Wild is a good word to describe some of the action that plays out on screen, and the people who got to be a part of it, well. I love that aspect of this filmmaking so much. Just throwing yourself at a tuk-tuk, there's a very specific feeling that you get from that that you can't get from anything else. I feel excited and I feel like I'm in a dream right now and um, it's amazing. I'm living the American dream and I just want to thank my mom. <laughs> you can thank writer-director James Mangold for being the man behind the movie magic, but he thanks Ford for being so committed. He's there from dawn till dusk, first shot to last, busting his hump, um, trying to figure it out how we can make the scene better at every point through the day. How can you not love him? And how can you not love this? John Williams in a 100-piece orchestra performing some familiar music before the movie. We'll see Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny in theaters June 30th. In Hollywood, George Pinocchio for ABC News.